good morning. I'm Stephen Smith. I'm sitting here this morning talking with Timothy Thrapp of WITTS. Timothy, uh, tell me what WITS is and uh, what that's all about. Okay. World Improvement Through the Spirit Ministries, uh, WITTS. A lot of times people shorten it down to WITS. But uh, basically, we are an organization that have been around for a long time, and we'll get into the details on that. Uh, but we work on alternative energy, amongst other things, anything to do with world improvement and technologies, as well as spiritual end of it. We do a lot of ministry uh, worldwide. I've ministered in 14 different countries. We are a Christian organization. I teach the gospel of Jesus. We get people saved and heal, healed and filled with the Holy Ghost, and we build houses, and we uh, run orphanages and uh, help widows and help the sick and the elderly and that type of thing. And most people are interested primarily in our technologies and that's what we'll be focusing on probably in this interview. So it sounds like not only a ministry for the uh, the Word of God, but a ministry for the world of energy uh, that you're trying to help people uh, with all the problems inherent in uh, trying to make ends meet with the high gas prices, with uh, all the different challenges we have in this country dealing with the whole energy problem. Yes, yes. Energy as well as uh, propulsion and uh, pollution remediation. I would say pollution remediation is one of the big ones. Uh, we developed, uh, over the years, we've developed devices that get rid of water pollution, clean up big lakes and, and big rivers and so on. Uh, our technology was sold, one of the technologies was sold in the early 1990s to an organization in Europe and it went on to clean up the Rhine River. They, uh, they made some changes in the technology and patented it in their name, which is fine. We sold them the, the, uh, the rights to do all that and, uh, and they cleaned up the Rhine River and that was a major uh, a major undertaking and uh, did it in a few months matter of fact and basically our tech our pollution remediation technology is extremely effective for ponds and lakes and and rivers and even oceans and uh, we also have technology for pollution cleanup for the air and for landfills the uh, landfill technology just to show you how amazing that is uh, it could be built where you could dump a whole dump truck a load of garbage in and including rocks and dirt and anything else and you seal it off where there's no air coming in at all and uh, when you're done a whole dump truck load would be uh, a little bit of dust in the bottom that would fit in the palm of your hand and uh, it would be basically diamond dust high carbon um, be able to use it for saw blades and drill bits and things like that. Well, it sounds amazing, but uh, what I'm curious about is where did all this technology come from? And you seem to have a, a broad knowledge of a lot of different things that uh, could be beneficial, but where does all this knowledge come from, I and mean, how did you get started in, in this? Well, God is the giver of every good gift. The scripture says that the man of God should be found to be fully competent and completely equipped for every good work. Our team of experts... Uh, I started in this 21 years ago. My first uh, partner was a MIT graduate, a, a doctorate in uh, electrical engineering, and we set out to solve the world's problems, including uh, energy. Now, before that, we were working on uh, health, and actually the first lab I, we built when I was uh, about 21, and uh, even before that, we were doing experiments. I was doing experiments and a few people that worked with me were doing experiments and tests and, and uh, so on in this field, in this regard, all the way back, uh, uh, I would say I started when I was about five doing uh, tests on different energy systems, building them, and, and so on. And I've been self-employed also since I was about five. So that's a little bit of the history, my history, personal history. Uh, after I was in this a few years, uh, when I was about, uh, I'd say we'd started 21 years ago, about 18 years ago, or 17 years ago, we were approached by another group that actually has its roots way back into, uh, all the way to Michael Faraday, and that group basically joined our group, so that made us, we have about 12 scientists, it's gone up as many as 15, and is down as few as uh, 8, back and forth over the years, but right now we have about 
12. And uh, scientists, most of us are ministers also as well as scientists, which is true about Michael Faraday as well. Uh, most people don't realize that he was a minister. Really, it's God's people that get come up with the solutions because God is the solution. It's, uh, it's not us. It's not me. I'm just the spokesman for the group. Uh, a lot of people somehow think that I'm the one inventing everything. Uh, I'm just the spokesman for the group. Uh, I have worked hard at this, but it's, it's God's blessing that brings results, and it's God's blessing that brings solutions, and God's wisdom as well. If you read the book of Daniel... You get that clearly. Daniel was one of the wisest men that ever lived. And all his wisdom came from God. You see it over and over again where he needed a solution. And he sought the Lord and the Lord gave it to him. And it's basically the same thing here. What is the direction you see God moving you in uh, with the, uh, the task he's given you to perform here on earth? Well, our group, World Improvement Ministries, is moving toward mass producing something that the average person can buy and that's the intent of this website as well as this uh, we are currently in a fundraising stage we for many years we didn't ask for any donations at all and just about three or four months ago it became clear to us that uh, it's the world's uh, it's the world's that's going to benefit the world needs to help when I say the world I would say the people of God are the ones that are called to help uh, and so basically if we believe people are called to pay tithes to this to these type of causes and so if anyone out there is listening and you feel the Lord leading of the Lord uh, please start paying your tithes to this ministry or half your tithe to this ministry and the plan is if we could just get even as few as 300 people paying their tithes we'll have enough to build a factory and uh, start mass producing and these devices, once they're sold, we don't need any more money at that point. Once, they're, once we start the sales, uh, we'll have enough money coming in from the sales at that point. And so this is as little as a year or two years away if people get on the, on the stick and start helping. Uh, people get busy and start helping. It's, uh, it is a team effort. It's not going to be done by one person. It needs everybody to get involved. And so God is calling people out there, and it's up to each one of us to pray about it and see what God's speaking to your heart and uh, see what he'd have you do. If people work together, this is totally doable. Are there certain samples or certain experiments that you've done to kind of prove this technology or something people that uh, could take a look at to see some practical applications of how this might work well there's a number of videos on the website and we'll be adding more as time goes on uh right now you can see uh 900 watts of electricity lighting up light bulbs there's also uh additional 400 watts going back to the electric motor so it's 1300 watts altogether and that's one of the devices you can look at we have had that particular device doing 40 kw already 40 kilowatts of power and uh, we've had other devices doing as much as 2 million watts. Um, obviously, you don't need, I said 2 million, I meant to say 20 million watts. We've had, uh, the, that's the highest we've ever done in any test is 20 million of our own personal stuff. But we, although we've helped engineer uh, top secret projects that are in excess of 20 million. Uh, so that's been going on for quite a while. There are, there are projects that I shouldn't be saying too much about, but there are projects out there that are very large and it would stagger the imagination to know exactly what's going on on this planet. Most people haven't got a clue. What technologies are you endeavoring to present to the world at this point? Um, they we're endeavoring to present these uh, something that will run people's homes and, uh, and this is something that will be mass produced uh, it'll basically probably be around, the first units will probably be around 1,000 watts. It might be as big as 5,000 watts, but in that range. Uh, 